सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट करिकुलम बेस्ड सीरीज ध्वनि शाला सो लेट्स ज्वाइन इन ध्वनि शाला क्लास वन हेलो डियर चिल्ड्रन हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड यू एंड योर लव्ड वंस आर हैप्पी एंड सेफ एट होम एज यू ऑल नो यू कैन नॉट गो टू स्कूल ड्यू टू करोना वायरस but don't worry soon your schools will reopen and you will be able to attend your schools meet your classmates play with your friends meet your teachers and learn new things but for now i will help you with your studies at home do you remember me i'm your friend rajni We all love reading and listening to stories. Even I love to read and listen to stories because stories entertain us and even make us learn new things. So let's see what is there in my magic bag for you all. Oh wow! There is a beautiful story for you all. The name of the story is Three Little Pigs. It is in Unit One of the Marigold Book One, your English textbook. If you have the book, open page number eight. If you don't, doesn't matter. You can still listen to the story. Later, you can read it when you get the book or a photocopy of the story. So, don't worry at all. and enjoy dear kids this is a beautiful story about three little pigs i'm sure you must have seen this animal this animal is of pink or brown in color so here in this story there are three little pigs named sonu monu and gonu sonu lives in a house made of straw and monu lives in a house made of sticks on the other hand gonu lives in a house made of bricks and one day a big cruel wolf comes oh now for knowing what happened next you have to read the story with me how the wolf shakes up the lives of the three little pigs I'm sure you all are excited to listen to this story. First, I'll read the story titled Three Little Pigs. And I know you all are listening carefully. So, let's start. Once there were three little pigs. Sonu, Monu, and Gonu. Sonu lived in a house of straw. Monu lived in a house of sticks and Gonu lived in a house of bricks. One day a big wolf came to Sonu's house. He said, "I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down." So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Sonu ran to Monu's house. The wolf came to Monu's house. He said, "I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down." So, he huffed and he puffed and he blew Monu's house down. Sonu and Monu ran to Gonu's house. The wolf came to Gonu's house. He said, "I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down." So he huffed and he puffed but he could not blow the bricks house down it was very strong the wolf went away and sonu monu and gonu lived happily together in the red brick house so dear kids did you like the story lovely children Till now you must have got the idea about this story. I will again read aloud the story in parts 
and we will understand it more deeply. So, shall we start? Once there were three little pigs, Sonu, Monu and Gonu. Sonu lived in a house of straw. Monu lived in a house of sticks and Gonu lived in a house of bricks. Dear kids, every living being on this earth needs a house or a place to live comfortably. Like we all feel safe and protected in our houses. Nowadays, we all are feeling so happy in our houses with our family. So in this story, there are three pigs and their names are Sonu, Monu and Gonu. Each pig has a separate house of his own. Sonu lives in a house made of straw which is known as the Kacha house. The house of Monu was made of wooden sticks which is also not very strong. On the other hand, Gonu lives in a house of bricks, just like we live in a house of bricks and cement. And such house is also known as Pakka house. Now reading the next part of the story. One day, a big bad wolf came to Sonu's house. He said, I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down. So, he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. So, dear kids, one day there comes a big wolf who is very cruel and bad. Do you know who is cruel and bad? The one who harms other. And I'm sure you never harm others. So, you all are good children. Big clap for you. So, the wolf goes near the house of Sonu and says, I will huff and puff and I'll blow your house down. And he blows harshly like, oh! And Sonu's house gets blown away by his huff and puff. Do you know what is huff and puff? It means blowing hardly through your mouth. Like, Let's move on to the story. Sonu ran to Monu's house. The wolf came to Monu's house. He said, I will huff and puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the Monu's house down. Sonu runs towards Monu's house for protecting himself but the wolf comes here also. And he again says, I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down. And he again blows harshly, like, <sighs> and Monu's house too gets blown away. They feel very scared, but you all are happy in your strong houses. Let's thank God for our Lovely strong houses. All of you say with me, Thank you, God. Repeat again, Thank you, God. Very good. Now let's move on to the last part of our story. Now let's move on to the next part of our story. Sonu and Monu ran to Gonu's house. The wolf came to Gonu's house. He said, I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down. So, he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow the brick's house down. It was very strong. The wolf went away and Sonu, Monu and Gonu lived happily together in the red brick house. Now, dear kids, both Sonu and Monu run towards the house of Gonu to protect themselves from the bad wolf. But the wolf runs after them thinking that he will blow the third house too. But till then, 
Sonu and Monu get into the house of Gonu. Soon the wolf reaches the third house and he again says, I will huff and puff and I will blow your house down and he blows harshly. Can you blow with me? Let's do it. Take a deep breath and blow away. Once again, take a deep breath and blow away. Wonderful! The wolf again blows harshly, but this time he cannot blow away the brick house because it is very strong and the wolf cannot harm any of the little pigs. So, the wolf goes away and all the three little pigs live happily in the red brick house. Yes, yes, the strong house. So kids, I hope you all liked the story very much. Now dear children, tell me, what did you learn from this story of three little pigs? Wonderful! You are absolutely right. We learnt that hard work always pays off. It means if you work hard and if you don't take the shortcuts in your life, success will surely come to you. And I know you all are working very hard. So kids, isn't it a lovely story with a good message? Now let's revise some of the new words we found in this story. I will speak each word two times. You all listen carefully and repeat after me. House House Bad Bad Big Big but, but, not, not, and, and, big, big, blow, blow. Wonderful! You all did so well. Now, dear kids, let's do an interesting activity of making sounds of different animals. First, your friend Rajni will sing a song and you all sing with me. So, are you all ready to sing? Let's start. Bow Bow says the dog. Mew Mew says the cat. Bleed Bleed says the goat. Roar Roar says the lion. Hello Hello says the child. So, you like the song? One more time, I'm singing this song for you. Sing along with me. Bo, bo, says the dog. Mew, mew, says the cat. Bleat, bleat, says the goat. Roar, roar, says the lion. Hello, hello, says the child. Lovely! I can see the smiles on your face. Wonderful! Now tell me, how does a dog say? The dog says, Bow, wow. Repeat after me. Bow, wow. Very good. How does a cat say? The cat says, Mew, mew. Repeat after me. Mew, mew. How does a goat say? The goat says, Bleed, bleed. Lovely. Repeat after me. Bleed, bleed. How does a lion say? The lion says, Roar, roar. Repeat after me. Roar, roar. Lovely. A big clap for all of you. And how does a child like you say? The child says, Hello, hello. I can feel that you are feeling so happy. Now let's revise some of the two letter words. Oh, you all are ready to move on to this journey. Can you guess some words? Wonderful! Let's revise 
two letter words a m am repeat after me a m am h e he h e he i n in i n in i t it i t it i s is i s is m e me m e me m y my lovely now try to make small sentences using these two letter words like i am a good girl he is a good boy fish lives in water it is a red pencil this is a yellow flower please give me a pencil i love my school lovely kids you are doing so good okay let me know if you all have listened to your friend rajni carefully so are you all ready to answer my questions wonderful you are ready so tell me how many pigs were there in the story three little pigs tell me how many pigs were there in the story three little pigs one two three a four wonderful absolutely correct three pigs now tell me how many houses the wolf could blow away how many houses the wolf could blow away 1 2 3 a 4 wonderful two houses you all are so intelligent so kids my next question is was the wolf good or bad oh so quick so quickly you gave the answers the wolf was bad but can you tell me why wonderful because he wanted to blow the houses of sonu monu and gonu lovely now tell me what is the house of sonu made of what is the house of sonu made of lovely answer sonu's house is made of straw next question is what is the house of monu made of what is the house of monu made of absolutely correct sticks and what is the house of gonu made of what is the house of gonu made of correct answer bricks you all are so intelligent now tell me whose house can be called the strong house whose house can be called the strong house wow you gave it so quick gonu's house why dear kids it was made of bricks just like your house and my house so we live in strong houses now dear kids there are so many animals on this earth but do you know some animals are called farm animals some jungle animals and some are called 
water animals did you get me some animals are called farm animals some jungle animals and some are called water animals the animals which live in water are called water animals so can you give me some names of these animals wonderful you are giving the correct answers let's name some of the water animals repeat after me frog frog fish fish crocodile crocodile huge animal now let's name some of the farm animals these animals are kept in farm and we use their products such as milk eggs wool etc let's name some of these animals these are dog horse cow buffalo hen etc repeat after me dog horse cow buffalo hen etc now let's name some of the jungle animals these animals live in jungle let's name them tiger monkey bear giraffe repeat after me tiger monkey bear giraffe lovely you are doing so good big clap for you now kids let's do another wonderful activity face making activity yes face making activity so are you all excited for this activity and are you all ready for this activity okay now stand up and you have to show the feelings on your faces ready children good i shall be giving you some situations and you have to make faces according to the situation all right so now tell me how do you feel when you get a new dress wow it's your birthday and your mama gave you a new dress so how do you feel when you get a new dress oh lovely all the faces are happy show me your teeth wonderful happy faces lovely now the next one how do you feel when you get hurt oh how do you feel when you get hurt you feel sad oh how do you make sad face oh no 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 you all are happy faces now how do you feel when you have your favorite ice cream yummy yummy ice cream oh lovely i can see your happy faces so what is your favorite ice cream flavor wonderful mango ice cream strawberry vanilla lovely so dear children tell me how do you feel when someone break your favorite mug oh your favorite mug is broken now oh i'm feeling so angry oh can you make the angry faces oh but you all look pretty and lovely with your smiles so let's revise and make the faces again now make a happy face oh i can see smiles on your faces now make a sad face oh and when you get angry how do you show your face angry face 
Lovely. You all did this exercise beautifully. A big clap for all of you. Now, dear kids, I shall be pronouncing some words and you try to guess what is the similarity between these words. We have done this exercise in our poem also. Oh, you remember? So let's start. Repeat after me. R E D Red H E A D Head B E D Bed Red Head Bed Lovely M A T Mat H A T Hat R A T Rat Mat Hat Rat B U T But C U T Cut H U T Hut Repeat after me But Cut Hut Wonderful B L O W Blow F L O W Flow G L O W Glow Blow Flow Glow You are doing so good B R I C K Brick K I C K Kick S T I C K Stick Brick Stick Kick So dear kids, you must have guessed these are rhyming words. Rhyming words are those words that have the same ending sound. Let's repeat. Mat, hat, rat. Red, head, bed. But, cut, hut. Blow, flow, glow. Brick, kick, stick. You all are doing so good. A big clap for you all. So lovely dear children, I hope you enjoyed this session and as a small activity, you can draw and color a beautiful house of your own choice. Yes, you can add different colors to this house. Make it as beautiful as you like. I know you all draw so well. So, all right, children, bye for now. Take care and stay safe. So, friends, you were just listening to this series Dhwani Shala, production assistants Minakshi Kukreti and Tanu Gupta, recorded by Bati Lang Lingdo, produced by Ajit Horo. This series was brought to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.